Don't interrupt already. I'm feeling murderous again. I'm feeling murderous again. A corrosive bloodline which bruises the bones and violates from the inside out, seeking retribution against the flesh of its host carrier, electrospasms of agitation, spinning shock waves which ripple under my skin, irritating from the outside in, irritating from the inside out. I scream at myself to just stop. I scream at myself to just fucking stop, to try to find a way that I can make every goddamn day not so fucking murderous. I know what I feel. Hyperactive limbo, electro rigor mortis, one foot in front of the other, a thousand and one Sisyphean feats, the slow leaking of light. Night creeps in and I start to lose it. What I try to hide from in the shadows cast by the sun develop a petulant luminescence as the dark sets in. A strange hollow forms in the pit of my gut like something has been ripped away. Oh, something has been ripped away. What the fuck am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? I'm dividing the night from this horrendous now, the crushing bruise, this empty hollow, the slow peeling soul murder of my own life force as it repels against itself. Oh, this is how I feel. This is how I feel when my desire is denied, when I attempt to placate it with false fuels, minor distractions, inaction, stasis. When that part of me that is frozen is kicked in the teeth by a brute desire born of fire and fury that starts to bray in rage because a revolution, because a revolution staged by one is not a fucking rebellion. A revolution staged by one is not a rebellion. It is simple madness. Yeah. And don't interrupt, please. Because your applause might mean something to the other poets, but I'm not a fucking poet. Hey, why? Excuse me. You can't be that frustrated yet. Now what you can do with your hands that would impress me. Put them between your legs and the legs of the person next to you and just jerk off the entire 20 minutes I'm going to be up here. <laughs> because the mass neurotic triad of insufferable idiocy, which I've experienced today on multiple levels, infantile narcissism, and internet addiction has fostered a spiritual bankruptcy, an existential vacuum, a moral coma. This is a culture in crisis where all meaning has been leached from real life and replaced with reality TV. <coughs> Kiss my fucking ass, you know. I hate you and I hate your fucking selfies. Actually, I hate Kim fucking Kardashian more than I hate anybody because she's just an overblown tool who has created a cult of celebrity devoid of talent and integrity whose only value is of net worth generated by catering to the lowest common denominator and you know exactly what that fucking is because you've got so much culture here in France, right? Yeah. Let me tell you what America is all about. A dumbed-down society where everyone's a star baby circling around a galaxy formed by a black hole which centers around their own fucking asshole. Do you want me to repeat that? Yeah. Everybody is a star baby in America, trust me, circling around a galaxy formed by a black hole which centers around their own fucking assholes. Yeah. Welcome to America, asshole.
a non-stop circus sideshow littered with the big-titted half-wits pandering to dopey dicks as the theater of the ridiculous plays out 24 hours a goddamn day in perfect rotation. It's a pathetic ploy that pulls the brain-dead public into spying on somebody else's petty life so that they can forget just how fucking petty their own life is while they air their dirty laundry on a public platform. Pawns, all of them, in the game who willingly give up their own privacy in order to play Patsy, not realizing that all that prattling on and babbling on is just an easy tool for Big Brother to track their every fucking move, movement and moment. And trust me, Big Brother is tracking everybody's movement. Yeah, except not mine because I don't make enough money, so they leave me the fuck alone. Time! It's waiting in the wings. It speaks of senseless things. Yeah. Time is just one long second that goes on forever. I mean, how did it get so late? So soon I know that tomorrow, tomorrow is just a word for a place we're all looking for, that the present is just the point at which time touches Eternity time, it's flexing like a whore, falls wanking to the floor. Yeah. This right now, tonight, is not an extension of time, but an absence of time. It's an abandonment of the calendar that embraces a strange mathematical point of endlessness. Because when you're here now, you're really nowhere at any time. I mean, you're just waiting for time with quaaludes. I wish they'd bring back quaaludes. And red wine, demanding Billy Dolls. And other friends of mine, that's David Bowie, remember he died too. Another dead white man who's everybody sucking the cock of. Hello, I was just at the University of Chicago conference on dead white men. Tell me about sucking dead men's cocks. I always break glass. I'm just trying to divine an absence of the unnecessary. I'm attempting to unblock the limitations of the failure of resilience. I'm finally trying to find new ways to overcome the tedium of the human form with all its multiple imperfections. I feel like a blind prophet reading Braille or reading Bataille off your skin to decode the past and future tense. I mean, the moment, like now, the moment right before and immediately after something becomes absolutely fucking unbearable, whatever it is. The moment right before and immediately after something becomes unbearable, that's the time that I live in. Yeah. You know, when memory has been drained of the emotional charge, it's simply wisdom turned inside out and all the clock is ticking, yeah. The hours drain away, years dissolve into decades. I mean, they're just stacked like shipping containers holding all the memories you can't recall. I can't recall, though I can fucking recall. I wish I could fucking forget. I mean, the past is just everything. The past is everything you failed to be, yeah. The past is everything you fucking failed to be. The future is a vague possibility of what you could potentially make of it. And can you take it? And can I fucking take it? Time is wanking like a whore. And all there really is, I mean, all there ever really is, is the ever-present now. That's if you're a goddamn Buddhist or you're really fucking Zen, right? I mean, tomorrow is just a word, right? Tomorrow is just a word for a place we're all looking for and being with you now or not being with you. Well, that's the only way I get to measure time, you know. How did it get so late so soon? Some days, some days I wake up and I just want to be the laziest bitch in the whorehouse. Yeah, 
legs spread wide, lucky strike dangling from my cock stained scarlet lips, eyes on the alarm clock, thinking about that century long Sama, my funeral procession, littered with the corpses of hundreds of dead soldiers who had come to soil my battlefield, banging into me like bullets fired at point blank range, the hot molten lead mingling with the blood and cum, mind swill, delirious with MDMA, cognac, cocaine, or just simple madness, drunk on the uncountable contaminants I have feasted on for years as some kind of prophylactic against my own sickness, or as I like to see it, survival of the sickest. Some days, some days, some days, some nights, some nights, I saw the best minds of my generation scoring dime bags of dope on Avenue D, passing out and puking, waking up and walking away, and they always said the same thing. Some days, some nights, some days, some decades are meant to be wasted. Well, I haven't wasted a second of my fucking goddamn life. Trust me on that one, son. Late night lost, stranded in that haunted no man's land on the corner of sunset and accidental, the ghosts of all those that could have been, should have been, leave a Vaseline-smeared lipstick smudge on the rearview mirror's busted glass. I'm lonely as one left shoe with a broken ankle strap pushed out the window with a starlight motel. There is no drug. Trust me, I have tried every one of them. There is no drug. Potent enough to kill off that vision of him, that soured honey tumbleweed of hair that smells of dirty sex and cigarettes. His kiss is burned into my lips like a faded hologram, just slightly out of focus. I keep reaching for his mouth, forgetting about how the night bled out, turning a beautiful angel into a beautiful corpse. He's just a mirage. He's... Just a mirage, he's crushing me. I'm lingering in and out of consciousness. The dream drugs must be working. He slowly rises like a desert rat crawling on all fours. He's mustering the strength of dead men everywhere. He brushes up against me. He slinks into me. He sinks into me. He is in my skin. I move my lips in protest, but my breath has turned to dust. My bones are hollow husks. I have a soft spot for him. I have a soft spot for him. Kisses on the razor's edge. Kisses on the razor's edge. Try whispers, lips as thin as paper cuts, mouthing instructions, which I will fight with all my will. He's telling me to pick up the snub nose. Pick up the snub nose. Cool evening breeze kisses dirty feet, my tongue swollen, preventing argument against his hypnotic pull. He pulls at me. This is his domain. This is his domain, caretaker to the endless obsidian night, that grave digger of crushed dreams, that mortician's reanimator of broken hearts. He's just a mirage. He's just a mirage. He's crushing me. It's for the ghosts. It's for the ghosts. This is for the ghosts. This is for the war torn and the battle fatigued. It's for the dead and dying. It's for the dead and dying. This is for the widows and orphans. This is for the widows and orphans of warriors. It's for the warriors. 
This is for the warriors who were willing to die for their beliefs, who were willing to die because they believed it is better to die fighting for freedom than to live a life of lies enslaved and on their knees. Oh, and this is for those who believe. This is for those who believe, and you better believe. You better believe. You better believe in ghosts. You better believe in ghosts because soon enough you too will become a fucking ghost. <laughs> this is for the ghosts of Fallujah, Amber Province, Abu Ghraib, Bakuba, Guantanamo, Gaza, Beirut, Baghdad, Kabul, Kandahar, Jalalabad, Islamabad, Kathmandu, Mogadishu, Darfur, Sierra Leone. This is for the freedom. This is for the freedom fighters. This is for the insurgents, the rebels and rabble rousers. This is for every individual who fights against tyranny and oppression. This is for the martyrs. This is for the martyrs. This is for Mohammed Mossadegh, Salvador Allende, Oscar Romero, Teo Van Gogh, Federico Garcia Lorca, Pasolini, Bruno Schultz, Madeline Murray O'Hare. And if you don't know who she is, fucking Google her. Madeline Murray O'Hare. Got rid of prayer. In schools. Most hated in America until I came onto the scene. This for the wounded. This for the wounded and traumatized. This is for the survivors. This is for those suffering from post-traumatic stress syndrome, which as a fucking American, I feel like I'm suffering from every goddamn day of my goddamn life. This is for those that choose to survive and strive to overcome the roadblocks and landmines, the pitfalls and setbacks, the negativity of a world which forces you to fight tooth and nail, which forces you into battle mode on a daily basis just so you can maintain a tenuous grip on your own sanity after a lifetime of the enemy's torture, humiliation, bullshit, brainwashing, and abuse. It's for the ghosts. It's for the coast of Brooklyn, the Bronx, Detroit, Watts, Inglewood, Oakland, St. Louis, New Orleans, Memphis, Trenton, Youngstown, Cleveland, Buffalo, Camden, Baltimore, Newark, Little Rock, Tulsa, Baton Rouge. This is for the ghosts that feel that they were born invisible in life into a war zone of poverty or desperation and neglect in a country like mine which glamorizes violence, worships serial killers, threatened by massacre, and then arrogantly brags about gangbanging the whole fucking world. This is for the lovers. It's for the lovers. It's for the lovers of forgetfulness. Oh, I'd like to fucking forget. I'd like to forget. I'd like to be able to turn a blind eye to all those who have been murdered fighting for somebody else's freedom. This is for the ghosts. This is for the ghost, but most of all, it's for my fucking ghost. And trust me, my ghost will be as loud in death as it has been in life because I've already left the fucking evidence. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is a ghost? A ghost. A ghost is just too much energy. Too much matter. Too much electricity, too much emotion, I guess, that makes me a fucking ghost. Yeah. You know, to some of us, that would be Americans, violence is as natural as breathing. Yeah. <laughs> violence, trust me, violence or violence, that is the question. I say both. We are conceived in an animal act of incredible violence. Our, First cry is slapped out of us. We are born in blood and we are battered into breathing. And after all, chaos is the law of nature. Chaos is the law of nature. And I admit it, the American way of life has turned me into a death-defying murder junkie. I'm drunk on disasters, calamities, casualties. I'm high on bombs bursting in air. Oh, drop the fucking next one, you two-tempered, tantrum-throwing idiots. Drop the fucking bomb already. I'm high on rifles ricocheting up the bellies of pregnant women, crippled children, poisoned on a school bus, shopping mall murders. Crumbling cities damaged beyond repair. The look of despair in the eyes of men, women, and children. Their brains rotted by the cathode glare of the television, of the internet, of video games. I mean, and after all, video games only mimic a world that's gone fucking wild, right? I mean, it's a wild world, right? It's a wild... Oh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. 
that turn the whole world into a fucking ghetto, a whorehouse, an orphanage, a refugee camp, a sweatshop, a slaughterhouse, a bomb factory, a landmine, a butcher shop, a shooting gallery, an insane asylum, a gas chamber, a toxic fucking dump, where all the killers are heroes. All the killers are heroes. All my heroes are killers. And I myself am filled with a murderous fucking rage. Oh, yeah, it's like gang warfare is being waged under my skin. It's like a battle of bitches trying to box their way out. I feel like I have become the rapist. Oh, yeah, I have become the rapist whose impotence at annihilating the real killers is manifested into violence against myself and anybody else who gets in my fucking way. And if you think I'm fucking hostile, you think I'm hostile, you had no fucking clue, man. I am holding it all together. I am holding it all the fuck together. Oh, trust me on that. Laugh if you will. I am holding it all together. I'm just fucking passionate. Yeah, I'm a passion killer. I'm like a sadist incarcerated in my own torture chamber. I mean, one minute you're flesh and bones, and the next minute you're flesh and fucking blood. Piles and piles of flesh and blood. I mean, maybe I've just gotten into the enemy's head. I mean, I've gotten into the enemy. The enemy's gotten inside my head. The enemy's gotten inside my head. He's sleeping in my fucking bed. My war. My war. This is not my fucking war. You have no clue what that would look like. Oh, yeah. None of them go far enough for me. Yeah. My war. My war has always been the battle of sex as an animal act, fucked up by your emotions. I consider my womb a tomb, a sacrificial cunt. The more they kill, the more I fucking fuck. That's right, one woman against every fucking man, and either you're with me or you're against me. You want to fight or you want to fuck? Either way, you're going to get fucking hurt. Trust me on that, bitch. Yeah. And I know I could become the next target at any time. And I plan on dying with a smile on my face, laughing in delight, smoking a fat joint, blowing a dozen lines of cocaine, tripping on MDMA, and fucking my brains out. That would be with, I would be gang banging them, six returning Iraqi, Afghani, returning war veterans. Somebody's got to fucking take care of the soldiers, the US government. What, bring me those soldiers with PTSD. Oh, I'll fucking take care of them. Because I know I could be the next person to have a bomb dropped out of the whole point of fucking office on my head, a drone. Not if, but when. Yeah. So welcome to my church. Welcome to my church. There's only one commandment. Rebellion from false fucking virtue. There's only one commandment. Pleasure is the only real rebellion. We cannot oh gun them. Trust me, I've tried. I cannot afford that much ammunition. Pleasure is the ultimate rebellion. Yeah. The only real rebellion is pleasure. Pleasure at the mouth of the apocalypse. Ecstasy at the brink of disaster. I must find ecstasy in their insanity. Freedom from their slavery. The truth in their lies. Life in the war horse, evil orgy of death and negation. Love amongst their ruins. Ecstasy at the brink of the apocalypse. Pleasure at the brink of the disaster. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sebastian. Thank you, Fred.